Years ago in the north, the people used to travel at night in the spring because the waterways would be safer, they freeze at night. And um, this particular story makes reference to two sisters. This family had two girls and the mother had one toboggan and the father had the other toboggan and the young girls used to ride on the toboggans in the spring under this huge canopy of stars on a clear night on the riverways. And the riverways were the transportation, they were like road, they were the transportation ways for the people. And these people were going upriver, probably in pursuit of caribou, in pursuit of food. And um, the girls were just fascinated by all the stars. When they came to their campsite, they decided to camp and get some sleep as it started to be morning. And they would camp there for the day and sleep. And um, one of the girls said, wouldn't it be great? She told her sister, wouldn't it be great if we sleep up there on that hill, like get closer to the stars? And the sister said, yeah, that would be great. And uh, so they went and asked their mother. They said, mom, can we camp up there? You know, we want to be closer to the stars. Look at all the stars and it's so beautiful. Of course, it wouldn't be that for long because it would start to get daylight, right? But they wanted to capture that last few hours of stars. The mother said, no, I don't think so. Come on, Mom. She said, no, I don't want to be responsible. Anything happens to you. She said, go ask your dad. So they went to ask their father. They said, Papa, can we go? Can we just go up there so we can see the stars before we go to sleep? We want to camp up there. No, I don't think that's a good idea. He said, please, Dad. So finally he gave in. He said, but you have to take a dog so that that dog will let me know if you're in danger up there. So they took a dog and they tied the dog up there. And of course they crawled into their little bed roll and they looked up at the stars. Oh. And then one sister, she looked up at the red star. She said, I'm gonna marry the red star man, which is Mars, right? And the other sister said, I'm gonna marry the blue star man, which is Jupiter. And of course they talked and they're not into the daylight, you know, and they finally fell asleep. Well, you have to be careful what you wish for. When they awoke, they were in the star world. And they were married to Blue Star Man and Red Star Man. How did we get here? So, the star men were very pleased to have them there. And they said, we will gladly marry you. Now you should know that we can only bring things up from Earth. We can't take things back down. And they realized that they needed human food, so they brought moose meat up and caribou meat and fish and all of that to feed these girls. Well, a couple of years went by. And they were living a pretty good life up there. They didn't have to work very hard. They didn't have to go out hunting. Their husband did all their hunting. And one day, one of the sisters who married the Red Star Man, she said to her sister, you know, our parents are getting old down there. And here we are, just so comfortable up here. I'm feeling very bad about that. We should try to go back down. So her other sister said, how are we gonna do that? She said, well, you know all the moose hide that they bring up here when they bring us a moose? Let's make some rope out of that. So anytime the brothers were out hunting, they would start making this they would cut the raw hide and they started making rope. And when the sun dogs would start barking in the heavens, they would cash that big string away. So finally they decided that they had enough, they had enough length that they could go back from the sun world, the star world, heavens, to earth. And they made, they made, they were gonna make their getaway while these two brothers were out hunting in the heavens. So they tied it up to some big solid thing there in the heavens and they proceeded to drop it down. And just when they started to drop some down, the sister who was married to the blue star man, she said, I can't do it. They said, come on, you know, we've made all of these moccasins for our, in our 
leggings for our for our legs so that we don't get rope burn when we're coming down the cord. We made all these mitts so that we don't get rope burn on our hands. We've been working so hard all winter. What are you talking about? She said, well, you know, I've come to love my husband. I'm not going to just run away from him. He's been very kind to me. So they canceled. They postponed their, their journey down to the earth world. And she told her husband what they had planned to do. And she said, you know, the reason that I decided to postpone it, she said, but you should know that in earth, in the earth world, we have to take care of our, our elderly parents when they're old. After all, they took care of us when we were helpless. And her husband understood. And she said, so maybe we should have a child together. So when I go, you will have something to remember me by and he'll keep you company. He thought that was a good idea. So here she gave birth to North Star. He was so happy. And so she proceeded to breastfeed that little boy. They usually breastfeed for about two years. And after two years, she decided they're going to go. And her husband agreed. So they got their big packs on, full of mittens, full of leggings, so that they wouldn't burn their hands as they were going down. They came down from the star world. They landed very close to where their parents' camp was. And they came into the camp. Wow. They had a huge feast for them. They had this huge party for them. Lots of drumming and singing, welcoming these women back. Because their father felt very bad that he had shirked his responsibility and that his daughters disappeared. So those women never remarried. And when they got very old, the one that had married the Blue Star Man, they say in the evening time, in the fall, when the sun would leave the heavens and it would get dark again, she used to take her cane and hike up that little hill and she'd look up into the sky. She'd cry for her boy. Pretty soon I'm going to come and join you, she said. She used to talk to the heavens, to her boy, and she walked back down. And when she passed away, they say when she passed away, that's when Northern Lights came to be, because that old lady had long white hair. And that's, they say that when the Northern Lights are going like this, that's that old lady, she's running after North Star in the heavens. And that's the story.